outside a warehouse in San Diego, engineers huddle over a computer. They're about to launch a drone or a remote-controlled aerial vehicle. They punch in a start and endpoint on a map and take off. The quadcopter that zips by looks like a toddler's nightstand. It doesn't look that threatening, and that's what Chris Anderson is betting on. He says, in a decade, drones will have evolved way beyond their current military uses. Rather than visualizing drones as being sort of, you know, weapon-carrying military robots, you'll think of them as being like crop dusters. You will think of them with entirely new context. We'll forget that drones were once a defense industry thing, and we'll think of it as something you buy at Walmart. What makes a drone a drone is the ability to go from point A to point B, with a click of a mouse or a touch of a screen, without direct human interaction. It's a robot using GPS to perform a simple command. Go here. But it's also a launch pad for amazing possibility. Well, what if we sold a box that you could put on your belt, and while you're out windsurfing, drones would just follow you 30 feet up, 30 feet back, keep the camera on you as you did your cool stuff. Imagine how this could impact search and rescue missions or pizza delivery. These flying nightstands could transform into hoverboards a la Back to the Future or a fleet of mail carriers. Okay, here goes. This is Anderson and his kids flying a remote controlled plane. It's 2007 and he's obsessed with the possibility of drones. So much so, he started a blog, DIY, do-it-yourself, drones, to learn about the emerging landscape. A few hundred miles south, Jordi Munoz was ripping apart a toy helicopter and a Nintendo Wii. The 21-year-old programmer was scouring Google to find out how to use the sensors from the Wii to get his helicopter to fly straight. One week before I Googled something, I didn't find anything. And a week later, I Googled the same thing and I found this blog. Munoz joined the DIY Drones blog and started sharing the code from his project. I was just in my own world in a bubble. So I was like super obsessed with trying to make it work, finally work, and then I posted it online. And probably, I, I didn't realize that probably I was doing something high end. Anderson was blown away by that code. The two immediately hit it off and began collaborating. Fast forward five years, today they're running a multi-million dollar cross-border company that produces and sells hardware and personal drones. The company, 3D Robotics, found success in Munoz's misunderstood hometown, Tijuana. Here's Chris Anderson. Prior to 18 months ago, I thought Tijuana was drug cartels and cheap tequila. What Jordy knew and taught me was that Tijuana is the Shenzhen of North America. Shenzhen is China's manufacturing epicenter just north of Hong Kong. And it's not just cheap, it's better skilled. They graduate more engineers. So those manufacturing skills that we've lost in much of the United States is, are still there. Anderson believes their use of Tijuana's high-skilled, low-cost labor, teamed with San Diego's engineers, is the business model of the future. The goal now is to streamline the whole process for the consumer. Buy the drone, download the app, type in the coordinates, and go. Simple enough for a grandmother to fly, and open source for programmers to reinvent the product. But drones remain suspect. Many are concerned about a more invasive drone future, with devices like flying sniper rifles or hovering spy cameras. Ask Chris Anderson, and he will tell you it's entirely possible. General purpose technologies are incredibly empowering. They change the world, but by definition, they don't limit the way you use it. Somebody's going to do something stupid, we can't stop them. Remember, computer technology got its biggest early boost from the military. Chris Anderson is literally banking on the inevitability that the good this technology could do, be it food drops in Africa or firefighting down the street, will ultimately outweigh the destruction it could cause. In San Diego, I'm John Rossman.